Francero and John Paul Nachos. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. It's gonna be super tasty. We need something to draw with, some paper, and, and something to color with. Something to color with. All right, let's get started. <laughs> First, we're gonna draw the top of our bowl. We're gonna draw a horizontal line that goes through the middle of our paper. That's for the top. Good job. Now we're gonna draw the chips and we're gonna draw tortilla chips. We're gonna draw pointy chips. So first, let's start by drawing a upside down V or triangle shape. Grass. <laughs> it's not grass. These are chips. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another one sticking out to the side. And we're using overlapping so it looks more 3D. Let's draw another triangle shape right here. And we could draw one of the chips upside down. So let's draw a horizontal line and then come back in like that. All right, let's draw another triangle shape. Let's see, let's use more overlapping. I'm gonna go up like this and down. There you go. Well, that's a big chip. I like how big that chip is. <laughs> We're gonna draw another one, comes up and then connects to the end. Now let's draw the bottom of our bowl. We're first gonna start a little higher than the top, the first line that we drew, and we could draw a little line that comes out. And let's do the same thing over here on this side. This is for the back of the bowl that's wrapping around. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes down, curves down like this, and back up, looks like a U shape, and connect to the other side. Oh, good job. And then connect. Perfect. Now we could draw the bottom of our bowl. I'm gonna draw two short lines sticking out of the bottom, and then we can connect those with another line or curve. All right, there's our bowl of nachos. Well, it just looks like a bowl of chips. Yeah. Let's add the cheese. The cheese. We're gonna draw it dripping down the side of our bowl. So I'm gonna draw a wavy line like this and maybe even a big drip that comes down and then connect over here to the other side. Whoa, that's a lot of cheese when it's melting over the side. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what else I think? I think we're missing more chips. We need to draw more chips. So I'm gonna draw more shapes sticking out like this now we're gonna fast forward this part, but you guys can pause the video to take time to draw more chips in your bowl. <laughs> That's a lot of chips, I like that. Now we can also draw, I'm gonna draw salsa on the top of my chips. So I'm just gonna draw a wavy line salsa. on top. Salsa. I like salsa with my nachos. And we could also draw sour cream. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, let's draw a little curve right here and another little curve coming up. So two little curves coming towards each other. I like sour cream now. Me too. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw another curve going the other direction. You used to always like sour cream. Uh, no, I said I love sour cream. What are you talking about? You used to always not like sour cream. No, I always like sour cream. Now I drew another little curve coming down so it's got a little curl at the top. Okay, Austin, what, what else should we draw? Oh, we need more cheese on our chips. Let's draw wavy lines on the very top of some of our chips. Doesn't have to be all of them, just some of them. I'm gonna go around and draw a little wavy line on each of the chips. Now this part, let's fast forward. Let's add more cheese everywhere. All right, now let's draw, let's add guacamole. I'm just gonna add a little bumpy line like this for the guacamole. <laughs> All right, Austin, we need to add a funny face to our bowl. Let's draw a circle, a little circle over here on the left and another circle over here on the right for the two eyes. Now you guys at home don't have to draw your funny face exactly the same. You could change your funny face. I'm gonna add a small little circle for the highlight. So eyes look shiny on both eyes. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little one white. Now I'm going to draw the mouth. Also, if you don't want to, you don't have to add a funny face. You could leave the funny face off and just draw a bowl of nachos. Yeah. <laughs> now 
Now I'm gonna draw the smile like this, but I'm also gonna add a tongue because he's he's hungry. He wants to eat nachos. <laughs> All right, all right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our bowl of nachos. Now, we still need to do one more thing to make it look even cooler. What do we need to do? Color it. Yeah, we need to color it. This part, we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Awesome, great job on coloring your bowl of nachos. I love how it turned out. It looks really good. I wanna eat them all. <laughs> I added an extra chip. He's flying in from the top. He looks like he's gonna do a cannonball right in the salsa. <laughs> now you guys can add as many extra details as you want. Remember to use your own creativity to change your drawings, make it look even cooler. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your nachos. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, join our monthly membership and download our app. You can watch all of our art lessons in a safe, distraction-free environment. In the app, you can also download lessons to watch without any Wi-Fi connection. Just visit artforkidshub.tv to join.